man, you hit record and it just sometimes gets hard to speak. <laughs> I got hit by a real, a real moment of self-awareness or let's pull it back, a real question of self-awareness. And uh, yeah, I hate it as much as I love it. There's nothing that can be more unsettling than unsurety, a lack of confidence. I'm listening to Gary Vee's latest episode. Let me find out the name. The best life is a practical one. And even after listening to it, I really can't tell you how that title fully connects to it. Um, the whole episode's great, and don't let the title distract from it. You should go watch it immediately. So, in the, in the episode, he starts to talk about uh, an experience that he just has never had. He's in a Cuban meeting with maybe 10 other people, all high-end CEOs, as well as the president of Cuba. And they're all trying to, you know, move forward and progress. And he found himself not speaking. And then he says 99.99999% of the time, I have something to add value and I'm in a position to where I can say it. And at that moment, I had stopped and my mind just rushed with, I can't think of a time where I spoke, where I didn't fully believe that I had real value to add to that conversation. And at that point, I almost have to add it. And, you know, it caught me hard. And I think one of the real truths about self-awareness is there's, there's, two, there's two levels. There's personal self-awareness and then there's the external self-awareness. So seeing what you're seeing from inside and your internal measurements when you question it, and then you have a really important one, that close circle that sees you every day, that's not you and can see things that you may not remember. It's important to ask those people. And when I get in this state of, you know, am I wrong? Do I believe that falsely? I, I hope not. I've spent my entire life dedicating myself to increasing my knowledge and applying it and trying to help other people solve their problems with the knowledge I've gained. And just the mere thought of, Am I blindly talking at people, not adding value with this misassumption? And I stopped everything I was doing, paused the podcast, and I, I look over to my wife, and I just, I have to stop, and I have to ask her immediately. I tell her the story, and then I'm just, do I do that? Because that's not my mission. My mission is to add value. I don't want to talk to be heard. I only enjoy speaking because I help people in the process. If I'm not helping them, I'm irritating them, and that feels like shit. So I'd rather not talk or add value. And, you know, I think, as always, she really showed how well she knows me, and she gave me a real honest opinion, and she just says it plainly. Tristan, you always believe that if, Tristan, if you're adding to a conversation or trying to solve a problem, you believe with every fiber of your being that you have value to add. You think that because they are wrong. <laughs> Oof, man, it hurt. <clears throat> and, you know, why does it hurt? Well, unfortunately, to be very frank with you and to be curt, because I'm not interested in lying, I, I think radical honesty is the best policy, even if you lose a little bit of positivity in it. Um, it is true. I walk around this world constantly hearing people talk about their life situation or what's in their way. And I do, I mean, I, I'll put every part of my mind, body, spirit, and whole being into trying to give them the best answer. I mean, I've felt horrible pains and struggles and I don't like them and I would never wish them on anyone. So when I have an answer, it's, 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 it's all consuming. I'm just a filter. I just, I need to let them know. And because of that, the messenger is not great. But at its core, it is a measurement of wrong. Like the, the, this, if, if they had the right data, they would be, they would be able to move forward. It's, it's almost like it, they have the wrong recipe. <laughs> you can't really be wrong about something like that if you're trying to help someone out. So I was really happy that, you know, when I think about it, The other part that Gary Vee said specifically was not to add value. I know that any time that I didn't have value to add because there wasn't there was an information gap or I wasn't able to convey the message right, I mean, 
I would just go into a black hole. I could lose my, I mean, I have no self-control. I need to know the answers to things. And when I believe I have it and someone has a problem and I'm giving them that information, if they can seed any form of doubt, regardless of their education or their knowledge or even their right to speak on it, if there is a seed of doubt in there, I won't quit till I figure out where it was and what it is and then what's the problem there and how to solve it and what's the easiest way. That's what I was built for. It's almost my purpose in life, it seems like at times. I'm really only interested in that and it's only really useful if it's being applied to human beings, <laughs> as silly as that sounds. And that means I've got to be in the right position. I know I'm adding value. I've got nothing but confidence in that. I know I'm also not always doing the best job of conveying it. That's why I'm putting in a lot of practice, a lot of practice. Every video, every day, every conversation, anyone I talk to, it's all practice. There's an abundance of opportunity out there. We don't lack opportunity. We lack practice, patience, and a little bit of practicality, or a lot of practicality. That seems to be the strangest thing for me. What I want to do doesn't seem practical. I want to find people who are trying to better themselves and really dedicate everything that my mind can generate in its creativity and its knowledge base and its ability to run concepts and apply that to their circumstance. I l love the idea of finding someone who's like, look at, I think I've done everything I can to min-max myself, what's left? And then I attack that puzzle furiously with a undetermined focus and no care and no holding on to anything that is currently in the way. It's only about the solution and then progressing forward. I don't even know what an excuse is. We just have to find the next answer. It's as simple as that. So here I am. Confident that I'm confident that when I'm speaking, I know I'm adding value. However, also confident of two other things. I definitely need more practice because I've probably missed a couple of opportunities not conveying the message at either the right time, the right words, or maybe just not the right amount of confidence. And then the other one is the position. Yeah, it's awareness. I mean everyone from Grant Cordone to Gary Vee. There's no one who is not saying that you have to hit attention. It's as simple as that. So here I am, talking to you, looking for your attention, looking to add value, really looking to make a difference. Not really in my life. I seem to be happy no matter what my circumstances are. I'm also incredibly unsatisfied, and that's what I'm trying to solve. And I believe I'll be satisfied when I can help other people get where they want to be. It's... I don't know why that is the way it is or what it is about me, but now that I know it, it's what I'm doing and it's what I'm about and nothing is going to get in my way. And I'm very excited. And I hope you are too. We're all going to crush it. I will accept nothing less. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Gary V, you said 14,000 no's out of 14,001. Man. Fuck it. Thanks for giving me the numbers, I guess. I'm never going to be able to keep track, but I will swing and swing and swing. I know factually I can add value to anyone I meet. And specifically, man, the way you live your conscious experience and the way you speak to your internal mechanisms, I have so much to say and I've thought so much about it. And living with adult ADHD, and really understanding a, a lack of impulse control and having many minds running at once with no real context or control and just sometimes just living in the back seat of this mind trying to steer it to greatness but only one hand and I definitely lose control all the time that doesn't matter because <laughs> I'm still moving forward I'm not going anywhere and I'm going to keep going so Let's go. Let's go.